guys, so I'm back today with another video and I'm finally gonna be sharing with you guys how I do my makeup. This is a look I would do when I wanna feel a bit more confident, you know, more put together look. On date nights with Matt, my travels, and I know I'm gonna be taking photos, dinners with my family and friends, and yeah, so let's start. I prep my skin first before I apply all my makeup. So I'm gonna start with this. This is my SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. Dab it all over my face. Even my neck. And after that, moisturizer. This one is from Tatcha, the water cream. This much. And then apply it even on my neck. So we'll just wait for my skin to absorb the moisturizer before I apply my sunscreen. So while waiting for my moisturizer to absorb, I will apply my Lip Sleeping Mask from Laneige to hydrate my lips. I'll just get a notch and spread. So after that, I can go ahead with my sunscreen. I use Super Goop's Unseen Sunscreen. This is SPF 40. Probably this much. If it's during the daytime, I'll probably apply more. But if it's like date night, dinner out, this much would be enough. So I just apply it all over my face, spread it out. Not forgetting my lids and also my neck. So yeah, that's for the sunscreen. And then I go ahead with my primer. I use the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. This also has SPF 15, so use about this much. You actually don't need too much of this. I know this is probably an unusual step, but I will use my setting spray. It's from Charlotte Tilbury. It's called the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray, just to kind of refresh my face and to help the makeup stay and glide on better. So I just let that dry and then I can start with my makeup. The labels are gone, that's how much I use it. Charlotte Tilbury's Hollywood Flawless Filter. This barely has any coverage. It just gives me a nice glow under my foundation or concealer. So I really, really like it. And then I will use my Beauty Blender to kind of just blend that out like so. So after that, I will proceed with foundation. So this one is from Makeup Forever. I've been using this brand for my foundation for years. I've never tried anything else except when I get my makeup done by a makeup artist. I apply my foundation really just to even up my skin tone because sometimes it's red. I have red spots. I have to use a foundation, but what I love about my foundation, the Makeup Forever, doesn't feel cakey. It's very light on the skin. Coverage is not so heavy. I'd say it's like light to medium. It's buildable. You can just add if you want more coverage. What I really want, super thin coverage. It's really just to even out like I said. Okay, and then I will blend that with my beauty blender as usual. See, it's super not halata. I love it. It's not heavy on the skin. After my foundation, I will go ahead with my concealer. This one is another favorite of mine. I've been using this for years. It's the NARS um, Radiant Creamy Concealer. My shade is in light 2.5 creme brulee. Love this. Okay, so I just apply it on my under eyes. My, I have really, really, really dark under eye circles, so concealer is a must. And I go in also on the sides of my nose because I have a lot of small red veins. And like here, I have a vein here, it's so visible. And then under my lips, and yeah. Then I'll just blend it with my concealer buffer from Zoeva again. These are very old brushes, but I clean them every week. Okay, so now that I've somehow covered my dark circles and the veins, I will set that with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. So this I've also been using for years. I love this. This is so light, it doesn't feel heavy on the skin. And I just apply it on the areas where I have my concealer. I'm just setting it. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and do my contour. So I'm using this, a Kendall X Kylie. The shade is perfectly cool, so it's perfect for contouring. So I just put two lines 
on my nose. And then I will spread that out using another Sephora brush. Now this one is a concealer brush, but I use it for my contour. Then the other side out. I know it looks crazy right now, but you just have to keep blending. Make sure there aren't any harsh lines. So just keep blending, blending. If you feel like it's too dark, you can always go back with your beauty blender and then kind of just buff it. Okay, so now that I feel like I've blended it the mind well, um, my T-zone gets really, really oily, so I really have this step is like very important, especially if I'll be out the whole day. And then later on, I will dust it off. I will also set my face with the same powder, the Laura Mercier. Very, very lightly, I just dip from the excess on the cap, put it over my cheeks, my forehead. Okay, so I think I can proceed with my contour powder. Um, I love this. It's from Etude House. It's the contour powder in number three illuminator. It's the perfect contour shade. It looks just like shadow. I dip it here and then I dip it here. Go under my cheekbones here. It's super light also. It's not dark, it's not harsh. It looks super natural, that's why I love it. See, it's very subtle, but it's there. And then I'm gonna dip it again here and go under my jawline. And then I'll do the same on the other side. So I just blend it and try to even it out. It's good enough for me. And then what I will do is I will brush off the powder on my nose. Use and powder again, this is the only thing I use. I only have one powder, I should have two, but one is loose and one is this pressed powder from Laura Mercier. It's the Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. I only bought this because I saw one of my makeup artists use this. It's also super sheer, very light. It kind of just gives you a glow, which I love. So I'll, I'll use that now. Okay, and then I will do my nose contour. So with the same palette from Etude House and with this brush from Real Techniques, it's called the Medium Shadow Brush. It's for eyeshadow, but I like to use it for my contour. So I just dip it here in this super cool tone. Shake it off, go over where I placed my contour stick earlier. Dip it again, shake. All gonna come together trust the process okay so after I contour my nose I will do my blush on so recently I discovered a few months ago this blush on it's from Dior it's like a super Barbie pink shade I learned this from Kylie Jenner this is how it looks like see it's super pink and this is supposed to be a contour brush but I don't follow the rules <laughs> so I'll just dip it the pan, shake it off, apply it here. It's not too crazy. You have to really build it up if you want it to be more pink. Which for me I like because it's harder when it's super pigmented. It's so hard to adjust. And then I like to extend it all the way here to my temples. Got a super rosy. And then I also like to put here under my eyes. Okay, and then even on my chin. After my blush, I will go ahead and do my highlighter. So I'm using Fenty Beauty. This one is the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. Can you see it? Is it focusing? So I will use this brush. This one is from the Naked Cherry palette. It's really for eyeshadow. Again, I don't follow rules. I like to use it for my highlighter, so I just dip it here. This one is more shimmery. This one is not as shimmery, so I like to use that para shadow oil. So I just dip it and then go on the tip of my nose for that Bella Hadid nose. And then here, here, blend it, blend. And then I will also go here on my eyebrow bone. Para mas deep set yung eyes. And then I will use this, the smaller end, the smaller tip, dip it. Shake right here on the filtrum and in the corners of my eyes. Art the lung. 
So after that, I just bought this. I like it because it's small, so it's super convenient for when I travel. This one is Soft Glam 2 from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Brown and pinks works well for me. Okay, this is the Essential Crease Brush. I will just dip it. I think I'm gonna go for a brown base today. The shade is Incense. Dip it, shake it off, and then go over my crease to make my eyes look deeper because I have hooded eyes. Do you see how I do it? Do you see the difference? Super simple eye makeup, but makes a huge difference for me. See, it's super light lamp, but it gives an illusion of deeper set eyes, which I do love. Okay, so at this point, I'm just kind of trying to make sure it's pantai. Like, not one eye is darker than the other. And I'm just blending it out to avoid streaks. Lower lid, and then just Keep blending. So by applying shadow here, I kind of want to give the illusion like it's mas spaganon. I don't know if you understand. I don't know if you notice it, but kind of drags my eye down, the corners of my eyes down by putting the shadow here. Okay, so I'll just do the same for the other eye. Apply it here. Blend. Just make sure it's pantai. I like to use the excess on the brush to kind of Pull it here outwards and then just blend. So the same for this eye. Kind of pull it out. I'll just brush my eyebrow hairs up. So this is one of the products that you know I've been using for years. It's from K Palette, Real Lasting Eyebrow. So this one is in the shade two. I'm gonna use a darker shade to kind of create an outline because my eyebrows are so anti. And then I'll go here. Basically, I'm just creating the shape first. You can see I kind of made daya. There were no hairs there, but I kind of manipulated the shape of my eyebrow. Kind of let it blend, and then I will use the lighter shade for my dimension. And I'll fill this area in a little bit. Are no harsh lines. It makes a huge difference. It frames your face. Now the challenge is making sure this and this are pantai. Okay. I can already see it's not pantai, so brush it up first to blend it like so. Then I'll go in with the lighter brown, the sparse areas. I think they're good enough. They look like they're sisters. I'm good with that. So you see, there are no harsh lines. So after that, I will be going in with my Refi. This one is a brow sculpt. Keeps my eyebrow hairs up the whole day. So it looks like this. It's color white. But it turns clear when it dries. So you just apply it like so. I'll apply my eyeliner. Because guys, I damaged my eyelashes from wearing too much eyelash extension. So I removed my extensions last December and my lashes still have not recovered. You can see my lashes used to be so long and thick. Now it's so short. So imagine the darkness of my eyelids. I just try to go as close as possible to my lash line. It's super thin lang. I'm just trying to darken talaga my lash line. And then I'll just do the same to kind of drag my eye down, the corner of my eye down, like I said earlier. And then I'll do the same here. I will attempt to curl my lashes. They stay curled for a few seconds, a few minutes at best. Because they're so short, I'm so sad. But anyway, I will be doing my lips now. Charlotte Tilbury again. See, it's so sharp. I love this one. This one is in Pillow Talk. So when I get here, I kind of overline it. So there. Next, recent discovery. That's, it's the Peripera Ink Airy Velvet. So I like this because it gives you the blurred lip effect. And the Korean look, Bitten Lips. <laughs> So I use a lighter shade for the outer area. I use this one. This one is in the shade number 21. 
And then I use a lip brush again from Sephora. I'm gonna just spread that out, even it out. I hate lipsticks that make your lips look so matte and heavy. I mean, the matte look is nice, the man, but sometimes it feels so heavy. It looks so heavy. I don't like it. So this one, since it's Metro liquidy, it doesn't look as heavy on your lips. And then I will go in with a darker shade. This one is Ink Airy Velvet number 14. And then I will just apply it in the inner corner. Gradient lips effect. And I think I'm done. So last but not the least, I will be going in with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I love this so much. Let the makeup stay forever. Just kidding. And that's it. I think that's my makeup look. I will just get ready for dinner. I'll fix my hair. If you guys have any questions on this makeup look, just leave a comment below, like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.